So this question starts off with giving us this equation here. Um, it's a rational equation. x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to negative 2. And that's followed by this very short question. It's a little over a line. So the anatomy of this question really points to us using the simplify strategy, right? Simplify is typically going to be used for any question that is short between one and three lines long and also provides either an equation or an expression. So whenever I see that, I immediately think to myself, hey, what did they give me? They gave me this equation here. And how can I simplify this? Well, I can simplify this by factoring the binomial in the numerator, which if you notice is a difference of squares. So hopefully that sounds familiar to you. So the difference of squares there can be factored to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Again, we have x minus 1 in the denominator. This equals negative 2. The x minus 1s will then cross out, so I'm left with x plus 1 equals negative 2. I subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm left with x equals negative 3. So the question says, what are, the, what are all values of x that satisfy the equation above? So I got x equals negative 3. I see negative 3 here, so I like that as an answer. Um, 0 I don't like, <clears throat> 1 I don't like, but then I see choice D here that says negative 3 and negative 1, and I just want to make sure that, you know, there's nothing weird that happened with doing the math the way that I did it and causing me to miss out on negative 1 being an answer. So one way I can do that is by using another strategy called plug-in answers, right? So again, I go back and say, well, if I started out with x squared minus 1, oops, not x squared minus x, it's just x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 equals negative 2. I should be able to plug in, right, x equals negative 1 and see if, in fact, that works. So when I plug that in, <clears throat> this becomes parentheses negative 1 squared minus 1 over, again, negative 1 minus 1 in the denominator. So my denominator will be negative 2. And then I can see that negative 1 squared becomes positive 1, because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. 1 minus 0, I'm sorry, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is equal to 0, which is not equal to negative 2. So, you know, now I'm pretty certain that D is not an answer. So choice A is the best answer here.